I think I got to the bottom of why it wasn't working. And the thing is, when you have a, an unknown variable that you declare here without um, kind of initiating it with a value, so um, the compiler doesn't know doesn't know what it's going to be, right? And so you have to give it a hint by default. And I didn't do that. So let me do that now. And what this is going to be is a FLX group, right? And the reason this is going to be an FLX group is because this here, what this does is creates um, four collision points, right? So it creates four collision shapes, left, right, up and down, and then puts them together in, in one group. So this is that group, which it doesn't know yet, but it, it will. So now that I've made this group, or I've made this a group, I can now type in FLX collision. Come on, here you go, FLX collision. We have it now at the top, perfect. And I can hover over this and it will set, tell, tell me what this does. So we need the camera, uh, place outside and thickness. Uh, okay, what does place outside do? Placement, okay. So I want it to be outside, of course. It's gonna, it's gonna be like this invisible border outside the, the camera, so it'll be true. And um, I want the width to be like one pixel. I don't really care. So you're thinking, where does this come from? Where's FLX G camera? And whenever you make a game in Flixel, it gives it a default camera. And the default camera you reference by um, saying a FLXG camera. Sorry for the burp. Um, so this is how you, you get hold of this camera. You can make more cameras, um, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to have the default one it provides, which is here. So what this do, look at the camera, make um, borders, invisible borders in all four corners, and there'll be our collisions. So now we need to make sure the player collides with them. And to do that, we are going to make a variable called player. Uh, which is actually down here, but this will make sense in a second. Player, type player, is that going to import it for me? It doesn't need to, because it's already in the same directory, so there should be nothing up here, perfect. So now, okay, so player here will, let me make some space so it's easy to read, will be assigned to this, and we have the bounds. What we're going to do in our update is each time this refreshes, of course, however many frames, we set it to the like 60th or 30th of a frame, um, we, we wanted to check if the player and the boundaries are colliding and if, if they are colliding then and prevent the player from going down. So we're going to have FLXG collide. Is that what it's called? Collide. Yep. Perfect. And we want the player to collide with the level bounds. And that is how simple it is to do a collision, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you might have heard my phone vibrating. Sorry about that. I didn't put it on airplane mode. Let's now check if this works. So, hard refresh, player falls down, hits, perfect. Okay, so now you notice I'm pressing the spacebar. Absolutely nothing is happening, and I don't know what's going on with my camera here. Um, let me just, it's probably distracting, let me just get rid of it. So now you can't see my face. Um, okay, so you have probably noticed that this, this jumping here, it's not doing anything, it's not working. And I'll tell you why. It's because of this. So I'm not an expert with certain methods. So let's read what's going on here. Handy, fun handy function for checking if object is touching a particular surface. Be sure to check it before calling the super update as that will reset the flag. So my assumption is there are some flags inside this method that when you call the update before it, it's gonna wipe those flags each time this thing updates. So what we need to do is to call that method before the super update. So in order to do that, let's create another method. Let's call it, sometimes I wish my spelling was perfect. Jumping, jumping method, and we're going to grab this one, because we don't need it in here, and put it inside here. And we're also going to grab all of this. Bang, so we put that here. We're gonna grab the jumping method and have it before the update. Okay, let that save. Let that build and let's see if that works. I'm just double checking my code. Cool. Okay. Player falls down, hits the ground, jumps. And that still isn't working. I was genuinely expecting that to work. Okay. Now we are in no man's land because I've got no idea. Uh, I called my. Why? What happened? I did name it jumping, didn't I? I'm going to have to rewind and check if I actually did that. Cool. Okay, moment of truth. So player falls down, hits the ground, jumps there. We have it. And that, my friends, is how you make a sprite, move, animate, and jump in Hacks Flixel. 
Um, all right, so in the next video, we're going to focus on adding some platforms here for the player to jump on. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this, hope you found it useful, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.